John Anderson with a little more deep water. Okay, we're going to talk about proteins. Now, protein is my thing. I'm a huge protein connoisseur. I live off of protein and fat. Uh, it was the last video we talked about checking your metabolism with what I call the corn test, which uh, hopefully some of you got a kick out of. Uh, anyway, for those of you who are going to follow my program, the corn test is just about the only time you're going to get carbohydrates, so enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's talk about proteins. Uh, so I'm going to go just kind of give you some examples. So <clears throat> myself, too much egg white protein, uh, especially uncooked, um, is going to tend to give me the shits. Uh, it's going to speed me. I, I can't say it's going to speed up my metabolism, but my digestive tract does not agree with too much egg white. Uh, in which case, obviously, uh, in, t in terms of the corn test, you're going to be spitting that corn out too quickly. Um, I think from the standpoint, if you're going to pick a single protein to eat a ton of, I would always have to go with red meat. Ground is the way I like to go. Pre-digested, um, you're going to get more nutrients out of it. Um, so. But back to, I think the, the, and as a whole in general, I think the way to go is to keep a pretty good profile. Mix your proteins. I often will have more than one type of protein per sitting. Um, the idea is to have a really, really complete profile of protein. Um, you know, you don't want to have, like if you were just to have, say, whey protein, uh, you know, it's really, really incomplete. It's good first out of bed, right after your workout's great because it gets sucked up the system, into the system quickly. But it's not complete enough for you to really make the gains you want. Um, you know, so mix them up. You know, myself, I do like egg white protein, so I make sure that when I'm having egg white protein, I have it with something else. A lot of times I'll drink it, like I'll, you know, I'll drink it with a meal. But that meal is going to be some beef, maybe some chicken. Um, so... I would say the rule of thumb is to make sure that you have at least three different sources of protein in your diet on a daily basis. If you really want to be careful, if you really want to go the extra mile, I should say, you probably want to have, you know, two or three per meal. You know, four or five on the day would be the best way to go. <clears throat> um, so, you know, as far as your digestive tract and as far as making sure that you're actually getting all the protein that you need and the proper profile, uh, mixing your proteins is the way to go. The only way for you to really find out what's working best for you is to start using this, you know, use one protein a lot and see how you feel. Um, like chicken is one that people can tend to eat a ton of. I eat a ton of chicken at the, in the final days of my contest prep because, as we all know, I don't use carbohydrate I use protein and fat so as I get closer to contest date my fat continually drops which means I start my prep off with lots of red meat that has a lot of fat and as I continue on it goes to chicken to fish and even to egg white uh, obviously because my fat is lowering so myself <clears throat> I know that I can eat a ton of chicken and I'm gonna be okay I eat a ton of egg whites not okay so that's my advice you got to kind of play with it. Everybody's different. Um, you know, there's actually studies that go back. It talks about your heritage, where you're from. I'm actually Nordic. I'm Scandinavian. So, um, you know, obviously go way back to the Vikings. You know, they ate a ton of fish You know, up in uh, Scandinavia. So, you know, myself, in my heritage, I'm supposed to eat a ton of fish, and it's supposed to work well with me. Now, do I like to eat a ton of fish? <laughs> Not really. But when I do, I have no problems with it. So that's another way you can go look into your heritage, find out you know, what uh, you know, your ancestors had available to them. And uh, that's another place to start. So anyway, there you have it. Mix your proteins, test your proteins, find out what works best with you. The last thing I want to say, get organic proteins. If you're getting proteins that are filled with hormones and shit like that, that's never going to work never going to work as well. Um, you want to eliminate toxins from your system. You know, your body cannot operate well when it's getting bogged down with all that shit. So, <clears throat> next time we're going to talk about being uncomfortable. 
Let's get uncomfortable is a saying I like to use because when you're comfortable, you're not getting anywhere. You're not making any gains. And what are we all about? We're about making the gains. John Anderson, deepwatermethod.com.